Hello to all my fellow Jastonians. Long time no see. Hope everybody's alright. Thought I'd come back and do a video after so many years and just do another update and say hi to everybody. So, I want to make this video about what I'm driving nowadays and I even want to talk a little bit about the new Supra. And, uh, yeah, so anyways. So, nowadays, I have since sold the Celica. Now I've got a Supra, which has been an awesome car. This right here is my daily driver. I've had this car, probably had this one for about 10 years. I'd say almost 11 years. And it's just, it's been an awesome car. And, um, I like it. But I'd have to say I like the HE1 second gen the best. But anyways, yeah, so this right here is, um, my 85 Supra. I probably got this about four years ago now. Hasn't really failed me at all. It's been an awesome car. I love them. Mark II's are definitely... Let me flip this around real quick if I can. Nope, it won't let me. Well, anyways. Basically, these have been good cars. And I'd have to say, I mean, it's way better and way more reliable than my Mark III's. My Mark III's have always been very problematic, and I like them. Don't get me wrong, I mean, I like them way better than the Mark IVs, but, you know, they just don't run as good as the Mark IIs. And, uh, I'll let you hear it. Sounds good. Well, I don't know. That's debatable, I guess. Some people like it, some people don't. I like it. So, let me get in here real quick. It's my dashboard. Inside is decent. It's not bad. You like that, huh? Yeah. Got to keep it original. So anyways, I'm going to crank this up now. This is a cold start. Like I said, this thing still runs like a champ. I've driven this thing to and from Florida probably five or six times. Like I said, it's been an awesome car. And uh, that was one thing I wanted to talk about too. So, let's talk about the new Super for a minute. The new Super doesn't have this kind of soul. The new Super doesn't even have any Toyota soul. They didn't even have the balls to build one. They had BMW do it for them. And when if they had, when if when has BMW ever had balls? They're too prissy for all that. They don't know how to build a Supra. Supras are too rugged. Not saying that BMW doesn't make an amazing performance car, because they do, but, I mean, let's be honest. We like Supras because they're loud, they're extreme in their style, they're gutsy. They're not castrated. Well, anyways, let you hear my exhaust for a minute. This might get a little loud. You've been warned. is my toy named her Darkel Lakel. So that's my baby. I got my hair pretty good, but anyways. Yeah, I mean let's talk about the new Supra. 
And what I want to do is basically express why I don't think it's going to do well. Because there's a lot of reasons why I don't think it'll do well. I don't think the new Super is going to do well, first and foremost, because it's built by BMW. I mean, after all, who wants a BMW that's built by Toyota? I don't. It's only got 10 or 12 or 15 or whatever it is more horsepower than the one that came out in 93. I mean, come on. There's no 3JZ. There's no 3JZ. It's not retro at all like the old Supras. doesn't have any kind of resemblance to the old Supras. BMW build, I mean, I could go on. I don't think it's going to be a manual. I mean, it's got no passion in it. Literally, no passion. It's basically built off of a Z4. That means that BMW just kind of couldn't figure out what to do with Toyota bugging them about building a Super. So they were like, oh, okay, well, uh, hmm. Oh, hey, I got an idea. You know, let's, <laughs> let's build it off of our Z4. So anyways, I'll tell you the truth. The only BMW that I really like, and there was only one, First generation M1. Now the M1, that was a hell of a car. I liked it mainly for its aesthetic appearance. I mean, I liked the fact that it had a ITB straight six in it too, and you know, it was basically a race car, but I like it because of its looks. And it had flip lights. But anyways, that was about all I had to say. So hope all of my Jastonians are doing well, my fellow Jastonians. Keep getting jasticized. Don't give up. Because I really think that we are the resistance. We are the few rebels who are really kind of making the statement in the car world that we're not going to be ricers. We're not going to give in to the muscle cars or sell out and get new cars. So keep staying true. See y'all later.